Okay, we have K.J. Jefferson. The man's early on us, but we're ready for him. Uh, if you have any questions, please raise your hand. We're going to go first over here to your left. Hey, good morning, K.J. Johnny Cotton, ABC 3340 Sports in Birmingham. I just wanted to get your thoughts after, uh, despite the loss, a really good performance in Tuscaloosa last year against Alabama. Can you just talk about the, uh, the confidence that that gave you because you were slinging the ball all over the field that day? It gave me a lot of confidence. Um, just uh, the preparation, the week uh, leading up to the game, uh, just getting in with my coaches, just meeting on the game plan, and I was really confident about the game plan. And when it came down to game time, I, just my teammates just being able to make plays for me, and I was just able to get the ball to them so, and let them make plays. Still on the left-hand side in the back row. Dan Peck, ESPN 106.7. KJ, uh, could you just sort of take us through what you think you've really improved on as a quarterback since you took over the starting job and what you think you really need to still improve upon? I feel like I improved on just decision making and being disciplined with the ball, or just taking care of the ball, and try to get my uh, put my teammates in the best position to win. And I feel like just leading forward and moving forward, I just want to be more consistent and just keep being more vocal on, on the leadership role. We'll go over to the right side, third row. KJ Tyler Shaw with KBTX and College Station. Um, you guys as a team just took a giant leap forward, you know, last year. Um, do you feel like you guys are ready for that kind of sustained success, uh, you know, moving forward? I, I do. I mean, we all just bought in, just uh, just locked in, just we are just binding the process, just believing in each other, uh, being more and more confident each and every day, just coming in, working, and then just also just being able to just come in and just love one another and just really bond and get to know each other, just from not from a football standpoint, but just on a personal level. We'll go you know, on the front row to your left. Hey, KJ, good morning. Ryan Curley, Dog Post. You played Georgia in Athens last year. What, if you just could put it in a few words, was the most special thing about that team and that defense to you? Uh, I would say first just the environment, uh, just being able to just go into a hostile environment like that. And it, it kind of gave us a heads up on just being in the SEC and also just going to a hostile environment and what to expect and just moving forward, just how to prepare for a, a hostile environment like that. So just being able to just Learn from it, a lesson learned, and then just moving forward. Okay, we'll stay on the left-hand side here, back row. KJ, could you uh, tell us about Kendall Bryles and the role he's played in your development as a quarterback? Uh, he's played a, a tremendous role. I mean, just being able to just instill the confidence in me, just be able to run his offense, and also try to run it to perfection and just make sure that we gain uh, a lot of production out of the offense and just being able to uh, just take his offense to the next level. So. What are some of the reasons Coach Pittman has been so successful there? Uh, just the uh, the work mentality that he just brought back, and just the pride that we also and just we just love to play for him, and just also just bringing that hope and just that willingness to uh, back to the state of Arkansas. Okay, go to the right hand side, third row. KJ, going back to the the A and M game last year, uh, how big of a moment was that for? The you guys in that, in that program, and you snapped a, a nine-game losing streak to, to the Aggies. It was, a, it was a, a real surreal moment. I mean, just being able to just win uh, one of our trophy games, being able to just bring that back to Fayetteville, and just also just just be able to just live in that moment, just embrace that moment just with my teammates and just being able to just overcome a lot of adversity that we've been through in the past. Left-hand side. The uh, Auburn-Arkansas games the last couple of years have been pretty memorable. There have been some, some – uh, highlights that, that have lived on. Uh, is, that, is that a game that you're looking forward to this year? Is it, is it a particular goal to finally get over the hump and beat Auburn? It is a, it is a goal to just finally get over the hump and uh, beat Auburn, uh, just because last couple of years it's been a real tough battle between us, to, uh, the two teams. So just being able to just get over that hump and just be what we're looking for in our program. Another question here on the right. What kind of mentality do you go into, you know, into this season? Do you guys feel like you're going to have more of a target on your backs? I mean, you're not going to sneak up and surprise anyone, anyone this year. Uh, we do feel like we have a target on our back now, uh, just coming off of last season and the uh, success that we had last season. So just we knowing that everybody just buying in, just knowing that we have a target on our back and we have to work extremely harder than ever and just to keep being consistent and just keep improving. We'll go on the left-hand side in the back. Anthony Patterson with the Atlanta Voice. KJ, I know you guys played Georgia early last season, and I know it was a tough game for you guys. What did you remember and learn from that game, and how can you take some of what you learned into this season? 
Oh, we just can't get too high. I mean, I feel like as a team, we needed that uh, just for everybody just to get back to a level head and just remain humble. So I feel like we needed that early on in the season. Just and with that, uh, with that loss, uh, just came with just everybody just uh, came a lot tighter, became a lot tighter, and just we bonded uh, really well and just got right back to work. Okay, right here in the front. Good morning, KJ. AP Stedham, WGP, Foley, Alabama. Uh, coaches always emphasize getting better. So what was your plan this summer to get better? And how did you uh, compete so well against Alabama? Uh, the main thing was getting better for me, uh, myself, uh, was just the main thing, just uh, getting my weight down so I can be able to put, my, put myself and my teammates in the best position to win. And then just competing versus Alabama, I mean, there's always been a big rivalry between us two. And we just want to be able to get over the hump and just also just always stay in the fight and always believe and have the confidence that we always have, have a chance. OK, we have two over here. Hey, KJ, Jacques Doucet, WAFB TV in Baton Rouge. If I remember correctly, the first start of your career was at LSU in 2019. Yes, sir. So that was a trial ball fire, right, getting thrown out there against <laughs> that team. And how, how, what do you remember about that experience and how far have you come since then? Uh, just going into that game, I uh, wasn't extremely confident in myself, just being able to go into a hostile environment like their first game start uh, in college. So, I mean, now I've learned from that, just being able to go into a hostile environment, just being confident and also just making sure that my team and everybody else is just on one page and on one accord going into a game like this. So we all on the same page and everybody's locked in. Second row to your left. KJ, Coach Pittman's an offensive line coach by trade. Uh, how much fun is it to watch his personality and his mindset kind of trickle down into the whole roster? And how much do you love playing for that guy? I mean, I love Coach Pittman. I mean, it's never a day to go by he's not joking. Like we, He's always joking on the field. And just being able to have a coach like that, that is really in tune with the players and not just treating the players like robots and really building a relationship with the players is extremely amazing, just the way he interacts with us on a daily basis. Third row, left side. Hi, KJ. Jeff Spiegel, ABC 3340 Birmingham. You just mentioned a while ago that you guys feel like you have a target on your back. What does that say about how far this program has come and the steps that you've taken? Because usually we hear comments like that coming from you know the Alabamas and the Georgias. Uh, just just shows that the uh, the program is on the rise. I mean, we're heading in the right direction, and uh, we want to keep moving forward and keep improving each and every day, and try to get this program back to where it used to be. Okay, back row to the left. KJ, could you tell us a little bit about last year's win over Texas? I think that surprised a lot of people with how thoroughly Arkansas controlled that football game, and it seemed like there was a little bit more to the game because it was the first meeting between Texas and an SEC team after the news that Texas was going to join the SEC. What do you remember of the, about the win over Texas last year? Uh, first starting off, I mean, I didn't, know, I didn't know the rival was like that big because, I mean, I'm from Mississippi, so I didn't really know. I only knew, like, I realized it was really big when I seen Jerry Jones walk on the field, so I was like, oh, it's a big deal. <laughs> so, I mean, so seeing him walk out on the field, so, I mean, it's just like, okay, now we got to play ball now, so. But I mean, um, I remember the game, I mean, just the team just always just, we stayed together no matter what. I mean, we started off kind of slow, uh, pretty put in some adverse situations, but the team didn't divide. We didn't point fingers or nothing like that. We just came together and just came and just build confidence in each other. And so, I mean, just winning that game just showed like Arkansas can play with the best of the best. Well, left side in the back row. KJ, I know you, you guys had a lot of huge wins last season. And for you, I know it may not – you may not necessarily get a perfect game. But what game do you look back on last season and you say, okay, if I take this performance, I know that I'm at my best and we can win? Um, I would say the game, I would say uh, – I said the Ole Miss game. Even though we came up short, I feel like the Ole Miss game, uh, I gave it my all. And uh, I just, even though we came up short, I just want to show people that I still I can be able to be a great quarterback in this league. Two more questions is the first one. You said you're a program on the rise. When you look ahead to 2022, what would you call a successful season? Uh, just getting over that hump. Just try to uh, maintain, uh, just getting a 10 game uh, winning season. Just getting over that hump from nine games. Just taking that next step for uh, four. That's uh, our team goal is just being able to get over that hump and take the next step and try to get a 10 game. 10, 11 game wins, uh, win season. Last question on the back row. KJ, could you preview the 2022 offense for us a little bit, especially any player that, that has really impressed you uh, with the strides they've taken this offseason? Uh, 
As far as our offense, I feel like we're going to be uh, pretty balanced this season uh, with the run and pass attack. And my, uh, I want to shout out my just my receiving core. I mean, those guys just competitors uh, that just came out each and every day, worked hard. Just uh, on the off days, weekends, we come in. We also everybody just in there just working out and just being able to just feel that void from trailing burst leaving, just being able to have guys step up and just try to maximize their opportunity when it presents itself. KJ, thank you very much. Thank y'all.